Thanks for joining us on your Kentucky at Home with Doug at All American Chimney Service today. Thanks for joining us. Hey, it's a pleasure to be here. So there's been a ton of rain this week and because of that there's a lot of people that are seeing water come down from their chimney. Why is that? Well, there's a number of reasons where why water can enter the chimney. And when we go out to look at or diagnose a leaking problem, uh, one of the things we learned early on is not to focus on one particular area of the chimney because then we might overlook some more subtle areas of the chimney that might be causing uh, an auxiliary leak or it might be leaking in more than one location. So we primarily start at the top of the chimney and work our way down doing a thorough inspection. And you were telling me that water is the number one enemy of brick, and it's because of the way brick absorbs water. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Uh, sure. Um, not many people would think of the number one enemy of chimney as being water penetration, but it actually is. People think it's a fire or they think it's a lightning, but it's actually water penetration. And according to the Kentucky Climate Center, we get anywhere from 68 to 90 freeze-thaw days a year here in Louisville, Kentucky. And that's an awful lot of freezing and thawing out. And that's where the damage happens. Because when water penetrates a chimney and it freezes, water will expand about 9%. That's why it was so hard to get the ice cubes out of those old ice trays we used to use before we had these fancy uh, refrigerators. And so with that expansion and the contraction, that's what causes chimneys to deteriorate. So if your chimney's not watertight, is deteriorating. So how do you prevent that through the winter? Because that's why you see a lot of damage in the spring is because of that contraction during the winter, right? Yeah, you, you start to notice it during the springtime. Uh, chimneys actually deteriorate about four times faster than the rest of the home. And a lot of that is due because they get all four sides of the weather. And then very often we see some um, improper materials or some um, improper workmanship that happened during original construction. So the first thing we would do to prevent damage for a chimney, we call it home maintenance or asset maintenance, um, would be to start with the chimney cap. Now a popular cap is just a single flue cap that sits on top of your chimney, which is great. It does uh, perform a function, but it's actually, when we're talking about leaks in chimneys, we actually refer to those caps as water diverters because a small cap will actually divert water onto the rest of the chimney structure. So actually placing a rain cap or a chimney cap on top of your chimney can exacerbate an existing leaking problem. If for instance, you had a problem with your flashing, placing that chimney cap up there would actually divert more water onto the chimney, which would run down into the flashing. Is that one of the more common problems that you see when you go to fix something is that the homeowner tried to fix it themselves by putting a cap on because they assumed that that was the problem and it caused more damage? Yes, we see um, it, it's really just a lack of knowledge of the chimney structure. When we're talking about a chimney, it's actually very, there's a, it's very complex. There's is act, the chimney is actually a junction of four separate trades. You have carpentry, you have roofing, you have masonry, and you have venting specialists. And so to, act, to accurately diagnose why a chimney is leaking and offer a solution that is gonna remediate that um, you know, for a, an extended period of time, um, will require knowledge, complete knowledge of how the chimney is constructed and how it interacts and attaches to the home. So we see not, not necessarily an improper repair, but a repair that would be improper to remediate a chimney leak. And could cause problems with the roof, for example, and other parts of the house? Um, it, it, well, it doesn't actually cause problems with the other parts of the home. It just wouldn't solve the problem that you're trying to get rid of. We would recommend um, an exterior mounted cap that would have a, a, a two to four inch overhang. It's like an umbrella for the top of your chimney. And we walk outside and straight and we put an umbrella over us. Mm -hmm. Well, the same thing is true for your chimney. Your chimney would like to have an umbrella also so that water is shed completely away from the chimney system. And that would be a good place to start. Now, the next thing we would probably we'd look at when we're trying to diagnose a chimney is the chimney crown. Now, the chimney crown is, a, is supposed to be a concrete plate that sits at the chimney top and its intended function is to shed water away from the chimney. Um, for all intents and purposes, chimneys are usually hollow on the inside, except for some fill, and so that concrete plate is used to shed water away from the system. Now, very often we see it's not actually constructed with concrete, it's actually constructed out of mortar. And mortar is a lot softer substance than concrete. Uh, the reason mortar was used is the people laying the brick 
are very good at laying brick, but they didn't have a working knowledge of chimney construction. And they would just, when they're done laying the brick, there's a bucket of this left over, and they just place it right there at the very top of the chimney. And something else that's not widely known is that there's supposed to be a 3 8 inch gap between the chimney crown and the chimney flue. Because we have a chimney crown and a chimney flue, they have different coefficients of expansion. What I mean by that is that they expand and contract at different rates. And so when that chimney is being used because of the heat component, it expands up and it expands out. And so if that crown is poured up tightly to that chimney, it's going to expand and it's going to cause hairline cracks. And that's when the water comes down, works its way into those cracks, freezes, and causes deterioration. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Doug. You know, it's been so informative to learn all this stuff about chimneys and what could be causing the problems. We'll be back with more Your Kentuckiana Home in just a moment.